you're never going to really understand why the Italians built the car the way they did until you drive on the roads they built. You know what I'm saying? In in the in another location, this um, this car would be too small. The suspension would be too soft. Um, whatever it might be, but um, but here it's perfect. They they made a car for Italian roads, and to be fair, some of the. Uh, the roads here in Switzerland are the same way, you know, they've got an old road system. These small cars are the only ones that you can really drive comfortably. Uh, yes, for sure you can get bigger cars down here with, <laughs> with courage, <laughs> but not with ease. And, um, and that is what they were going for when they built this little one. Now, I'm going to head down to the woods. And I'm gonna squeeze down this road here, which is ever so tiny with the with the camera mount on the side, honestly. Anywho, all good. The panda, given its diminutive size, does indeed squeeze through okay. Oof, this bit coming up, my goodness. That mirror is on the edge, and that camera is on the other edge. Why do I do this stuff? I have no idea. I hope it is. I hope this is all mildly interesting to you. Anyway, more of a more of a camera test than uh, actually telling a story today. But as we're here, I thought, you know what? Why don't we go down? Go down to the woods. Teeny, tiny, windy little roads, and the panda just eats it up. So these are the roads around my village in the woods. Nice trails off down the left there, and um, back up onto the pavement towards the village now. Lovely little village, lovely little area we live in. alleyways I was talking about before, you can probably get a better idea now. Got to... That was the mirror on the other side. Mate. Got to absolutely crawl through here. Oof. So, you know, going back to what I was saying before. The size, the size of this thing is key. When you start Pissing about with roads like this, the size is everything. And that's why we had such a small choice. Talking about, um, you know, what, what we had on the table when we decided that, okay, we need a runabout. We need it to be small, but we've got this, um, Got this want, not quite a need, just a want for um, a good all-wheel drive system. You know, it's not uh, not too much to us. We didn't think, but these days cars are getting bigger and bigger, and um, I guess it was just uh, just too hard for most manufacturers to to imagine a way to make a really cool little 4x4. But Fiat nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Maybe not the looks, that's uh, it's definitely up for debate. But um, in terms of the combination of small car, all-wheel drive, 
lightweight and soft suspension it's very very hard to uh, to find anything else that really ticks all those boxes so fair juice they did a very good job indeed now we're gonna spin back up